Uh, what's your name? Lydia Vale. And why did you want to become a Department of Corrections officer? Well, uh, I sent off an initial application to uh, the Los Angeles Police Department, and uh, essentially it's a trial period to go through uh, Department of Corrections first, uh, and you know, show what you're made of, so they don't have any you know morons out on the streets, and then uh, move on to LSPD in due time. More of a stepping stone for me, you know. So, so you're hoping to be a member of the LSPD, not the BCSO. Not the BCSO, no. Is there a particular reason for that? Uniforms are cooler. What uh, what do you typically deal with in a day of life in the prison? Individuals attempting to rob you, steal from you, uh, beat each other unconscious, uh, excessive violence, uh, a lot of egos, and uh, unruly behavior. Welcome to Bolingbrook. Welcome to Bolingbrook. Can't say I've ever been. Yeah, so Dr. Andrews will be here today. Who is Dr. Andrews? She's the uh, prison doctor. Don't run on my dirt, inmate! See an inmate there that we weren't told about. Uh, the PD is quite remiss in actually telling us when they're sending people up. Is that a, is that a common problem? Yes, it is a common problem, yeah. And obviously, you know, if they randomly send an inmate up without you knowing, that can cause quite a significant issue. You get punched in the back of the head by someone who you didn't even know was in custody. Uh, be aware you are entering a state uh, correctional facility. There are dangerous and violent inmates inside. Uh, they will show no respect or regard for your life or the lives of those around you. Keep your wits about you and do not turn your back to an inmate at any time. Is that understood? Uh, yes, ma'am. This is the infirmary. This is uh, this is where we bring injured inmates, uh, injured officers. You know, if anybody gets injured in the hospital, uh, in the uh, in the prison, you know, we have means to take care of them. Take care of them here. I've um, upon being shanked, I've stapled myself up in here once. So you know, we do have um, decent amount of medical facilities here. So this is the this is the office. Ah, Doctor Andrews. Hey. Hello. This is a uh, Kyle Winters. He's uh he does live PD stuff. Oh. He's, um, okay. Yeah, giving him a kind of tour around the prison, you know, talking mm -hmm. about the the Department of Corrections and such. What is the craziest day you've had in the infirmary? Oh, let's see. Um. Hmm. Wow. Why do you start with that? I mean, there's pretty much crazy days left, right, and center. I. At least sawed off a man's legs with a chainsaw. Uh, ooh, let's see. One guy was bleeding out on the table for multiple stab wounds, but he tripped. Um, hmm. What else has there? Oh, and I've pulled numerous spoons from people's asses. Mm, that's quite a common one, actually. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I even have a ni uh, an X-ray down in the infirmary of a knife we pulled from Bovice's ass. Yeah, the inmates are, are known to. But store things in their prison pocket. That they say. are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, numerous things sometimes too. Um, one is. guy, I mean, he even smuggled his cat in one time. We yeah, we had to pull pussy out of his anus. It was quite a, quite a feat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lucky it was declawed. I mean, can you imagine what it would have been like if it hadn't been? Well, that's yeah. safe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The cat got yeah. angry in there at all. He would have uh, been shredded from the inside out. I'm surprised the cat didn't suffocate. Yeah, yeah, I think he, uh, you know, had quite a wide rectum that allowed some air to get in. Uh, obviously had placed numerous things up there before, hence why the things do was a little, uh, loose than normal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh no, welcome to Bolingbrook. There's, uh, there's a lot to be seen and, and I'm sure you're gonna get a front row seat because we have, um, even Julio in today. Hello. Look at this criminal scum, felonious to the core. Hell yeah. yeah. Hello. Yes, uh, Julio, he was the one we actually had to pull his cat from his anus that he tried to smuggle in. What? Yeah, don't deny it. No. You know, own it. You smuggle in a pussycat up your anus. Julio, why are you what? dressed in non-standard clothing? This is- I made this out of styrofoam. Alright, well, go back down there and take it the fuck off. But... This is my rioting clothes. Well, you're not gonna be rioting. Get back down there, take it off. Come on, Julio, you're the type of guy that's usually ridden. 
Wait, what? Step upstairs and tell the nice man how criminal you are. That was an instruction, not an option. This is the beanbag shotgun. It deploys a uh, non-lethal beanbag used to incapacitate unruly inmates, such as when they're standing on top of the stairs rather than paying attention to what I've told them to do, as demonstrated. Now tell the nice lady and the nice man. Tell them a little bit about yourselves. Hi, I'm Julio. I'm also oh. prison uh, DM0193, okay? I'm in here for four counts of kidnapping, a count of assault with a deadly, um, for resisting arrest, fleeing and evading. Uh, uh what, what else am I in here for? Do you, what, what else is on my warrant? Do you remember? I don't, I don't know. Uh, accused of terrorism, uh, 12 counts of attempted murder. I might just have to go call EMS myself. Um, uh, thanks, Julio. You can't sort of fix my spine, did I, which is Did I spine issue. high? Did yeah, I spine you high you? Okay. Uh -huh. That's a, I don't see anybody I'll, 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 I can take a look. I'll do it again. I'll do oh, it again. Uh, I like to bite people's tongues out of their mouths. It's true. I've seen them do it. It's f***ing crazy. He did it too. Like right in front of me, there's one dude. He just like stuck his tongue out and he was like, yo, f*** you, prisoner. And he's just like. Just ripped open his potato sack and just bit his tongue off. Ripped that shit right out. Wow. Yeah. What's that badge on your hat Sweet. there, Mr. Thomas? Uh, that's sir, the Homeowners Association. Hmm. Yeah. Whoa! Uh, I got fired from them recently. You got fired from the Homeowners Association? Yeah, everyone in the Homeowners Association got fired, to my knowledge. Yeah, we're all unemployed now. This is society made us do this. We're criminals because society doesn't finance us. How dare you watching this? Yeah, it's you watching this you. fucking show? Fuck you. What's, what's your name there, Mr. Scarecrow? Well, I forget I've been in here so long, you know, I hardly know myself anymore. So it's not Sir Huckleberry Guthrie, which is what you told me outside? <laughs> ah, uh, 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 uh. Don't be uh, bitch made, you two! Uh, Typically, one of two things will happen when individuals try to riot. Either they will uh, beat the uh, guards unconscious, take their equipment, and then shoot at the police who respond for some reason. Or they will end up unconscious. As you can see, these two are attempting to be bitch made and tackling and kicking, and they've found themselves beaten to a fucking pulp. Now, if they continue when I help them to their feet, I will beat them until they sh teeth. Alright, how are you feeling, Mr. Guthrie? Oh, I've seen better days. Do you think you can stand? Oh, oh you might have to help me up. Alright, put your hand on my shoulder. I know you got your cuff. I know your cuff, right? Just give me your elbow. I'll hook your arm inside there. There you go. All right, one, oh, right, two, right. three. Oh, there you go. Up and That's it. Up and at them. There you go. Excellent. I want to be in the same cell as him. I want to be cellmates. You want? You want to be in the same cell? Well, unfortunately, I've just uncuffed him, so I'm definitely not putting him in the same cell now because I would just be a release in one of them, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's like putting two Mr. lions Guthrie, in the cage. Can I? Can I trust you to? <laughs> Yes, put me in the same cell as him, please, please, please. So what do the prisoners eat? Uh, slop from the kitchens. Would you like to see? Yeah, go look at it. It's it's pretty okay sometimes. They give you pork, um, mushed peas, um, sometimes some potato. Uh, we get we make our own uh, prison Kool Aid here. You want some? What these two are doing here is uh, offering um, hand based relief to other inmates, usually in exchange for, you know, treats, chocolate bars, the like. See, there are other inmates or guards, you know, either way. Mm, I mean, it shouldn't be happening with guards. Uh, if it's happening with me, guards, I'd like to know. Uh, uh, give me my uh, sweets, give me my sweets. Uh, give me my uh, chocolate. Yeah. All I want is a, a barrel a, of Jolly Ranchers. Come there on. There is a strange kind of economy that goes on in prison, you know. We call it the handjob economy. 
that and chop it on. Everything, it's like the gold, uh, it's like the gold standard, but it's in hand dubs. We're just going home. Just chill, chill.